Good evening and welcome to ZSU News, your weekly dose of zoo shenanigans. In this week's news, there are some major stories to cover, including a worldwide commercial holiday, a zoo owner gone power hungry, and some news from our very own Dierenpark. But first, we return to the Netherlands, as the story of Achterdijk Zoo continues and has attracted the attention of the American press. After the British Daily Times claimed that Dirk was the guilty party in the so-called War on Friendship, the Scottish newspaper The Daily Record did their own research and confirmed that Hank Jan did in fact treat his animals terribly. Several celebrities jumped on the bandwagon to support Dirk, including former president and current prison inmate Donald Trump, as well as PETA and even Adele. In the aftermath of the case, a Scottish farmer who had read the Daily Record piece gifted Dirk some Scottish Highland cattle to help him get through these rough times. This year's Valentine's Day was a little less lonely for hundreds of zoo animals across ZSU facilities, as a special event to celebrate the commercial holiday provided mates for animals who didn't have them yet. While Valentine's Day may be an excuse for those less romantically inclined to limit their expression of love to once a year, CSU HQ made sure that most zoos received a mysterious offer presented as three doors, each with a description of the mating behavior of the animal behind it. CSU HQ outdid themselves once again, and the effort they went through to organize this event was the perfect expression of love towards the CSU community. Let us hope the dating show will have its effect and lead to successful breeding programs across the world. Street Fox Coffee Drama unfolded earlier this week at Tiergehege am Schützenhaus in Birkenbach, Germany. The grand opening of the zoo was cancelled after internal complications. A source in the zoo staff hinted at an argument between the zoo's owner, Mr. van Birkenbach, and Walter Groen, chief animal keeper at the facility. Supposedly, the former complained to the latter about the lack of big names at the zoo, saying that he was furious for spending thousands of euros on cages for stupid budgies and boring deer. According to our source, Mr. van Birkenbach even threatened firing the entire staff and closing the zoo. It looks like van Birkenbach will be even more closely involved in the zoo's development in the near future. For our last story of the week, we have some news from our very own Dierenpark de Gavermeersen. De Gavermeersen has recently struck a deal with the Belgian government and the Royal Museum of Natural History. De Gavermeersen has long been looking for a way to educate people as well as to attract more visitors and innovate the zoo experience. That is why we are happy to announce that the Gavermeersen is working on a large immersive experience that will bring you back to the Cretaceous, when dinosaurs ruled the world. This will be unlike anything you've seen before and we can't wait to show you. And that's all for this week's ZSU News. We hope to see you next week as we cover the news. And remember, wildlife conservation is the conversation.